let's actually now visualize why a body takes a parabolic path when it is under gravity and thrown at a certain angle. So we've already derived the equations. I'll not tell you the equations right now. Let's actually visualize this motion. So when I'm throwing it with a velocity v uh, in this particular direction, let it have an angle theta with the base or with the ground. So this, this v velocity has a component in the x direction. It also has a component in the y direction. The x velocity or the x component of the velocity's job is to take it in the forward direction and the job of the y component is to take it in the upward direction. So imagine if there was, if the y component of velocity did not change and the x component of the velocity did not change, the body will keep following its path. So if you threw it at an angle theta, it will go in a straight line at an angle theta. Why? Because neither your y velocity is changing, neither your z, x velocity is changing. So whenever you take the vectorial sum of these two, it will always add up to the initial v, which was at an angle theta with your base. But in our projectile motion, when it is under gravity, this y velocity is acted upon by gravity. So it's opposed by gravity, but your x velocity is unaltered. So uh, the body will keep moving in the x direction uniformly with uniform velocity. But as far as y velocity or y, y direction motion is concerned, this particular y velocity which had this much length, after a period of time as it keeps going up, this, the length of this velocity vector decreases or you could say that the magnitude of the y velocity vector, vector decreases. Had it not decreased, it would keep going upwards. But the problem is it's decreasing. So after a period of time, it starts slowing as it moves up. Uh, but the x velocity has not changed. So what happens is the x velocity and the reducing y velocity add up together to give this parabolic path. So this is half of your parabola. After it stops here at the topmost point, it, its y velocity has become zero and it only has an x velocity. After this, your gravity is still acting on the body. So it, the gravity now starts increasing the y velocity in the downward direction. This is the reason why your body starts coming downward, but it is still moving with the same velocity in the x direction. And then by the time it comes here, the velocity that you threw with, uh, let it be v, it still, it again comes down with v. So the y component of velocity, which was vy upwards, now becomes vy downwards when it comes on the ground, but the x velocity remains unaltered. So this is how you visualize the parabolic motion for a projectile. <laughs>